In the field of science, the vast puzzle over the subject of what came before the Big Bang has sparked debate and captivated minds for a long time. This deep inquiry goes beyond merely examining how we see the universe, it pushes the absolute boundaries of human comprehension. Imagine standing at the edge, looking out into the vast unknown, at the brink of death, unsure of what previously existed. The beginning of our universe, the occurrence of the Big Bang, signaled the beginning of time, space, and everything familiar to us. However, was there a time before this event? Could something have existed prior to it? Silence is a state of complete stillness. But before the beginning of the cosmic unfolding, if there even was such a beginning, was it really empty, or was there some form of activity? Could something even more extraordinary have preceded time itself? As we investigate this further, scientific inquiry takes us on a journey beyond the birth of the universe, into ideas that stretch the limits of our awareness. Brian Cox, a well-known physicist celebrated for exploring the marvels of the universe, suggests that something unexpected may have existed prior to the Big Bang. He challenges us to rethink our concepts of existence and reality. This investigation will dissect the hypotheses and the mesmerizing science behind mysteries that could help describe what preceded everything we know. We will consider theories involving quantum shifts, inflationary expansion, dark energy, and even parallel universes. You might be surprised by the revelations, but they also have the power to reshape how we perceive our place in the cosmos. Prepare to venture into a realm beyond imagination and scientific observation a space where the unknowable continues to weave through the gloom. Scientists are left both amazed and, at times, uneasy as they examine what may have preceded the Big Bang, and why such ideas disrupt everything we assume to be true. To understand what might have come before the Big Bang, we must first thoroughly examine what the Big Bang actually was. According to scientists, the Big Bang was the instant when the universe became extremely dense and extremely hot, rapidly expanding to initiate the synthesis of matter, energy, and the fundamental forces. We can see evidence of this in the night sky, galaxies with fiery origins moving outward from a common point in their early history. But why did this happen? And was there a period before this intense expansion? According to the inflation theory, there indeed was a before, and it was far from tranquil or empty. Cosmic inflation posits that before the Big Bang, the universe was cold, sparse, and relatively structureless, resembling a vast vacuum. Yet, this vacuum wasn't completely empty. It contained a huge quantity of energy that drove the swift expansion of space. This rapid expansion, called inflation, laid the foundation for everything that followed. It was a phase of space growing at unprecedented speeds. Eventually, the process slowed, allowing the energy to convert into particles, matter, and forces, bringing about what we perceive to be the Big Bang. But what kind of energy was that? What caused the universe to expand so suddenly, and what made it stop? Experts think that this unstoppable inflation might have produced various cosmic fragments, each going through its own version of the Big Bang. Imagine an endless sheet stretching out, forming tiny bubbles here and there, each bubble representing a separate universe, including ours. This concept, referred to as the inflationary multiverse, proposes the existence of countless Big Bangs and an infinite array of universes. Ours is just one among many. This staggering possibility challenges the very foundation of physics and cosmology. It forces us to ask, what else lies beyond? The notion of utter emptiness prior to the Big Bang remains highly speculative and, according to current physics, not practically real. Even if you stripped away all energy and matter, true nothingness still wouldn't exist. Our universe is permeated by dark matter, invisible quantum fields, and dark energy. Forces that combine to form an unbreakable fabric of somethingness, even in the most empty scenarios. Even if we imagined removing all of these parts, leaving us with a barren void, new energy would still emerge from this seeming nothingness alone. Scientists are perplexed, implying that true emptiness may not be possible. Within the framework of our infinite universe, space has inherent attributes, constants and physical laws, that prevent it from ever truly becoming vacant. Even in this hypothetical vacuum, quantum fields and physical constants would continue to exist. This suggests that what we call nothing still has structure. For example, there's a phenomenon known as zero-point energy, which describes the lowest energy state of quantum fields. Under this circumstance, particles can still momentarily appear and vanish, leaving behind an eerie hum of activity where there ought to be stillness. This goes against our conventional conception of a void and implies that, even before the Big Bang occurred, something was happening. We are only starting to comprehend one of the most astonishing ideas in modern cosmology, the possibility of eternal inflation. If inflation birthed our universe, 
perhaps it continues to indefinitely create new universes. Brian Cox talks about an endless multiverse where inflation never stops, where universes are constantly forming and expanding. Imagine each Big Bang as a spark igniting a different universe, while inflation continues to spawn countless others in faraway regions. This eternal cycle introduces the concept of a fractal universe, where every new universe could give rise to its own Big Bang. Each one would continue to exist independently due to the rapid separation of expanding space. The idea is both thrilling and disturbing. It suggests a multiverse that has no beginning or end, establishing our universe as just a small portion of a vast, growing cosmic network. What if there's no before or after, only an infinite, eternal cycle of growth and decay? Our understanding of nothingness changes dramatically when we examine it through the lens of quantum field theory. It suggests that the universe is more than just a collection of matter drifting through space, but a vibrant lattice of energy fields interacting and giving rise to everything we see. These fields are similar to invisible oceans, with ripples that behave like wave particles, even in their lowest energy state. The vacuum fields are dynamic. Particles can flash into existence, gain energy, and then disappear, leaving only a whisper of their existence. These virtual particles force us to rethink the idea of a true vacuum. Imagine a universe stripped of matter as well as radiation. Would that be pure? According to quantum theory, no, the fields would continue to fluctuate, sometimes generating short-lived particles. This ceaseless activity in apparent nothingness tells us that the universe never reaches absolute zero. Instead, it bubbles with hidden energy that defies emptiness. This insight raises another question. If energy fields spawn particles, and particles create matter, is it possible that the universe formed from this so-called nothing? Dark energy, the enigmatic force responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe, could be a remnant from before the Big Bang. The persistence of dark energy may hint at an ancient field predating the universe. Some theories propose that in a more potent form, dark energy might have existed long before the Big Bang. This primordial field could have lingered in a dormant state until conditions were right for a phase transition, a transformation that released immense energy, igniting the birth of our universe. Such theories align with the concept of quantum tunneling, where fluctuations in a vacuum field allow a new universe to bubble into existence. In this view, our universe might be the product of a spontaneous quantum fluctuation within a pre-existing quantum vacuum, a kind of cosmic spark from a deeper and more complex background reality. If this is true, the Big Bang was not the absolute beginning but a moment of transformation, a transition from one state of being to another. This challenges not only our scientific models but also our philosophical understanding of creation, existence, and time itself. What lies beyond our observable universe? Could there be other realms governed by different physical laws, different constants, perhaps even different dimensions? Some researchers, drawing from string theory and M theory, suggest that our universe is one membrane, or brain, among many floating in a higher dimensional space. Collisions between these brands, like ripples on a cosmic pond, could cause periodic big bangs. This cyclical model implies that the universe might not just be eternal in time but constantly regenerating, dying, and being reborn, a cosmic heartbeat echoing across timeless voids. While these ideas remain highly theoretical, they represent the frontier of human inquiry. They offer a glimpse into questions we once thought unanswerable, what came before everything? Why does anything exist at all? We may never fully solve the mystery of what preceded the Big Bang, but the pursuit itself, the relentless curiosity to understand, is what drives science forward. In exploring the origins of the universe, we are, in a way, exploring ourselves. Our search for the beginning is also a search for meaning. The deeper we peer into the darkness, the more we realize how much we don't know, and how wondrous that ignorance can be. Because in the questions, in the unknown, in the silence before time, lies the truest form of discovery. It's possible that energy caused inflation and contributed to the rapid expansion of space. Dark energy persists even when there isn't matter, so perhaps it shaped the conditions that allowed our universe to come into existence. Could it be the hidden hand behind inflation, or even the spark of originality? As we consider this concept, dark energy moves from being a passive force to a potential architect of existence, concealing information about the multiverse. Another alternative is found in cyclic cosmology, the idea that the universe is stuck in a never-ending cycle of creation, destruction, and rebirth. Here, the Big Bang was not a singular event but a single stage in an endless sequence. Our universe may expand and contract, having risen from the ashes of a previous one, bursting into new life over and over again. If this theory is correct, 
it's possible that there never was a first universe. Instead, existence is cyclical and constantly reinvents itself. This model also alters our concept of time, suggesting it may be circular, not linear, a universe born, evolving, dying, and waking up incessantly. Gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by massive events, offer another avenue for understanding pre-Big Bang conditions. If early gravitational waves were detected, they might reveal echoes from before the actual Big Bang. These signals could preserve information about a past cosmic state and serve as evidence that something existed before our universe. Such a discovery would be innovative and could validate theories that suggest a time before Big Bang reality. As we pursue these questions, we look into concepts that push the envelope of reason, space, and time. One of the most ambitious goals is quantum gravity, to unite quantum mechanics and Einstein's theory of general relativity. This combination has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of what preceded the Big Bang. According to quantum gravity, time and space may not be smooth but made of small, discrete pieces at the Planck scale. These structures could have generated the space-time fabric we know today. In this model, what we consider to be continuous space and time only appeared following quantum fluctuations that fashioned them from something simpler. This completely new framework implies that, prior to the Big Bang, time and space may not have existed as we understand them. The string landscape, arising from string theory, adds another layer. It suggests our universe is one of many, each defined by different physical constants and laws. Tiny vibrating strings underlie all particles, and each arrangement of these strings results in a different universe. This framework allows for infinite possible universes, each beginning with its own massive explosion and evolving independently. This implies we're not alone in the cosmos, but one drop in a vast ocean of reality. Some theorists propose that our universe could have come from a black hole in another universe. The singularity at a black hole center, where density becomes theoretically infinite, could produce a new universe. It's possible that the Big Bang was the result of such an event. This concept suggests that black holes may serve as cosmic wombs, creating new realities beyond their event horizons. If true, each black hole could be a portal to another universe. And lastly, the very idea of time may be misleading. If time began with the Big Bang, then asking what came before is meaningless, there would have been no before without time itself. Cosmologists propose that time emerged from the beginning, a chaotic quantum event, where past, present, and future were indistinguishable. Others return to cyclic time, where the universe eternally bounces between expansion and collapse. In this vision, the Big Bang is just one cycle among countless others. No beginning, no end, only a rhythm of cosmic breathing. Some theories even envision a primordial soup of particles and fields, bosons, quarks, and leptons, all churning in a high-energy state. These early building blocks may have existed in a quantum foam, moving in and out of existence due to the uncertainty principle. This soup could provide a bridge to the time before time. In the end, the question of what existed before the Big Bang remains one of the deepest puzzles in modern science. As our comprehension of space-time physics advances, our theories become ever more intricate. While we may never have a definitive answer, the pursuit of this mystery drives humanity forward, fueling our innate desire to explore the unknown. This journey into the origins of everything is not just a scientific pursuit, it is also deeply philosophical. It forces us to confront the limits of human understanding, the nature of reality, and our place within it. If the universe has no true beginning, what does that mean for concepts like purpose, destiny, or design? If time is an emergent property rather than a fundamental one, then perhaps causality itself is not as absolute as we believe. Physicists and cosmologists continue to devise experiments to test these bold ideas. Particle accelerators, cosmic microwave background observatories, gravitational wave detectors, and deep space telescopes are all pieces of a grand puzzle. Each discovery, no matter how small, brings us a step closer to glimpsing the moment, or the state, that preceded our known universe. There are also those who explore the metaphysical implications. If the universe is part of a multiverse, or birth from a black hole, or a loop in a cyclical pattern, then what governs this grand architecture? Is it pure mathematics? Random chance? Or is there a deeper, perhaps unknowable, order? Meanwhile, quantum mechanics continues to challenge our perception of what is real. Superposition, entanglement, and uncertainty suggest that the universe may not even exist in a single, fixed state until observed. If applied to the cosmos as a whole, it raises unsettling questions. Could reality itself be observer-dependent? Could our universe be one among many possible realities, 
selected simply because we are here to witness it? In searching for the origin, we are also searching for the boundaries of thought, testing how far human intellect can reach into the void that came before light, matter, and time. And yet, with every step into the unknown, we are reminded of the profound mystery that birthed us. Whether the Big Bang was a singular beginning, a rebound from a previous universe, a fluctuation in quantum nothingness, or a ripple in an eternal cosmic ocean, one truth remains, we are the product of that origin, whatever it may be. As we look upward, into the deep past and the far future, we do more than study the cosmos, we engage in the most intimate act of reflection. For to understand the birth of the universe is to understand ourselves.